Hi darlings, I hope you're all alright and keeping safe and taking care of yourselves. Back for another react and this time it's with a bit of a twist because our Sala and our Chantal have started up a couple's channel. Mm, two people, that nice. They want to be together obviously all the time. It'd be lovely that wouldn't it? Anyway, they're having this couple's channel, you know, so they're going to be now a duo, you know, like um, Morecambe and Wise, the two Ronnies. I'm not sure who's going to be the uh, straight man. I've got a good idea who will be the angry one, but there you go. Time will tell. But the thing is, it's left me feeling a bit unbalanced because I don't know if these shoulders can bear the burden of reacting to do people. I need a bit of help. Not someone that's going to take over or attempt to share my channel because it's all mine. Don't you worry, Auntie Lou is still going to be the numero uno. The queen of the show. The star turn. This friend of mine that's going to come and join me is just going to be a little add-on bonus. So, without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to my new co-star, my good friend, Minerva. Say hello, Minerva. You all right? She's very quiet. did not say much. Best sort of friend, really, isn't it? Stops them taking all Auntie Lou's attention. We have more of a mental connection. She talks to me in my head. She's one of the voices. I've told you about that before. But I'm on tablets now and I'm getting a lot better. Anyway... You might wonder to yourself, that's an unusual name for a cow. Well, it's not really, not in the cow world. I learnt that. They tend to have more old-fashioned names. And Minerva is actually um, the Roman goddess of wisdom. So that's very apt for my channel because we have a lot of wisdom on here, don't we? Mainly from me. But Minerva is a bit of a tongue twister. I nearly had a twist then. So I think we should call her Min or Minnie, which is very apt because she's a mini me. Because I'm a bit of a cow at times as well, darling. Anyway, she's going to stay, stay with me and she's going to shoulder the burden of our foodie and Sala. That'd be nice, wouldn't it, Min? You'll enjoy that. Now you might be asking, Lou, Auntie Lou, where did you meet Minerva? And I'm going to tell you the story. We met in prison. Mm. Mm. See, I've got another side. I wasn't actually in prison. Well, I was in prison because I was working there as a prison officer. And I looked marvellous in the uniform. Sort of strict with a heart of gold. Do you know what I mean? A very attractive, bossy person. I was like that. And our min was in. She was doing a four-year stretch for robbery. She'd gone and robbed a uh, ice cream van. Now, I know it's quite a long sentence, isn't it, that, for just robbing an ice cream van? But you didn't see what she did to the driver. Wasn't nice, was it, Armin? What you did to that driver? Mm. The thing is, she did a James Herriot on him. The poor man's still suffering. He still sits on a rubber ring. And he's never quite got over it, has he? Because she can be quite forceful for a cow, can't you, I mean? Anyway, when she got out of prison, we'd forged this friendship, you see. We just clicked, hadn't we, darling? And that's how you were able to talk to me in my head. And I helped her when she got out to go back on the straight and narrow. And she succeeded. Absolutely, she did. I mean, there was a few, there was a few little, you know, bumps in the road when she stole... Well, she did a bit of shoplifting in Asda. But we smoothed it all out, didn't we, darling, with the nice uh, shop manager. He was a lovely chap. He was quite shocked that a cow could shoplift. But there again, you know, they're quite forceful when they uh, charge, you know what I mean? And those automatic doors, they won't stand up to much. Not when they've got a big cow running at them at full pelt. I mean, since she's 
gone into sobriety, she's been a lot better. Unfortunately, Armin had a bit of a, she had a bit of a habit, milkshake powder, mainly strawberry and chocolate. But she's over that now, aren't you, darling? She's been on the 12 Hoof program, haven't you, darling? And she's making a lot of advancements and she's coming to terms with her tawdry past. She's settled down with a lovely bullock called Bernard and she's got two gorgeous little bullocks called Tristan and Siegfried. Yeah, that's right. Two bo- I mean, not bo- bollock, but bullocks, two. Two of them, a duo. It's all twos, isn't it, tonight? Anyway, that's a little bit about our Ming. I don't want to tell you too much. I don't like to delve. Do we, mean? We like to delve into other people's business. But we don't like to delve into our own, do we? Do we, mean? No. We don't want to air our dirty laundry in public. Especially since your knickers are quite big, aren't they, darling? Now, I've given our Ming a bit of a rundown. because She's not really au fait with YouTube but I've told her all she needs to know the basics about our Chantal and she's done quite good haven't you Bab? you know because you've got quite a good memory and I mean Salah he's got to grips with um, our foodie he's only been with her five minutes so I says to me I said you'll have no problem darling and based on the, some of the people she's mingled with in when she was in the nick I mean you could deal with anything couldn't you darling not even a psychopath Good mother, our men. A mother was one. Anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? So, are you ready then, our men? We're going to start now. So, pimbut back your, your sticky up bits. I forgot what they're called, men. What are they called, darling? Your Vidal Sassoons. They're not called Vidal Sassoons. That's a hairdresser. You're being a silly bugger now. What are they really called? Oh, the horns. You're quite horny, aren't you, Moo? <laughs> That's how you got our Bernard. Anyway, let's uh, let's get on with it, shall we? Oh, I forgot to mention, with all the excitement of having our mini with us, I forgot to mention what the video was about. She's going out for some Kuwaiti food. Yes, she's going out to Din Din's. No, she's not having grass, Bab. Or milkshake powder. You're starting again, I shall tell you, counsellor. No, and no, the, I, I, well, I hope not. She gets a bit triggered when there's a mention of... No, I don't think there'll be any... No, I don't think there'll be any of that, darling. I think they only have goats and chickens over there. I don't think they have many cows. No. You'd be all right. We'd be able to single you out in a crowd in Q80. Anyway, let's get on with it. She's going to a restaurant for some num-nums. Stop going on. Getting a bit bumptious. This is my channel. The here goes. Oh, Min! This is the restaurant she's at. Oh, that was helpful, wasn't it, Min? She must know that I've got someone new coming. That picture before was the front of the restaurant, Min, and now this one here, it's the back. Yeah. She does. She she makes it very um very simple to follow. This is like one of those books, isn't it? Chantal and Sala for dummies. Hello guys. Are you kids hey alright? Welcome to our couples channel on mm. this ch and welcome to my couples reaction channel. Chantal, this is my friend Min. Sala, hello darling. Yeah, he's quite nice looking, isn't he? It's a bit of alright. Your Bernard's got a beard like that. Channel, we are going to do a lot of food related content and Fabulous. travel and just couples vlogs. And today, Sala is taking me to just can I just say sorry to interrupt you, sweet, because I know you're mid clack. Try not to get any beef, will you, darling? Gets our min triggered. A very nice restaurant here in Kuwait, and well, I'm he's so not excited gonna take to try it. I'll let him tell you a little bit. He's not going to take you to an horrible one, is he? Oh, I tell you what, Chantal, you know, newlywed couple or romantic. How about we go to a really crap restaurant? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You go to crap restaurants by accident, darling. Yeah, I tell you what, Min, you can tell the wine's taking effect. No, you're not having any. 
You know what happened in Bleeding uh, Skegness last time you got pissed up? It was terrible. We all had to chip in together to get a bleeding uh, out of Nick. It was awful. And what you did to that bleeding poor chap, all he said was that he liked your udders. Well, it's called Farid Suwaleh and it's a very famous restaurant here in Kuwait about uh, a special delicious uh, Kuwaiti food and oh, lovely. special style of the decoration or the mm -hmm. tradition of Kuwait here. It's very nice and uh, I hope guys you'll enjoy it. So, let's go. Yala. Yala. I don't know what that means, darling. I'm not sure. I think Yala means let's go. You know, get into the mood and all the rest of it. Come on, let's get on with this video. Oh, oh, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, Min, what's the matter, what's the matter, kid? What's the matter? The red van's triggering you, why? What's the problem with that red van? She's just showed us what a red van is, by the way. In case you were, like, confused, you'd never seen a red van before. Chantal's very nicely put one on the video for us. She might show us a blue one next week, or... Perhaps a white one. Anyway, our Min was getting a bit upset because you see that ice cream van was red. But don't you worry. Find fortitude from from within and sink down, down deep into your waters, darling, and get some tenacity. You feeling a bit better? Just remember what your counsellor said, do you? Just cast it from your mind all about red van business. <laughs> We've gone inside now, Min. Look, it's lovely, isn't it? Look. Oh, it's got an elevator. I'm glad he's found a foodie-friendly restaurant. Fabulous. Little private eating booths. Private eating booths for secret romantic interludes. Mmm, Min. I think there's a chance she might get it. Oh, that's so um, Mills and Booney, isn't it? Fabulous. They're not quite as modest as we thought, are they, Min? Oh, cool. Lovely. Small. <laughs> <laughs> Ask them, Bam, if they've got an XL. Ask them if they do a booth and an XL. I'm sure they have done. Because they're not allowed to discriminate, are they? It's all the different disability acts and God knows what. It's all about equality, isn't it, darlings? Oh, oh. oh wow. Breathe in, foodie. Suck it in, darling. That's what our Min does when she has to get through a narrow gap. Oh, we've got the menu look. Oh, it's been lovely. You see, Yum. their books go from right to left. It looks delicious. It does. It looks very nice, darling. Yalla, let's eat. <laughs> yeah, let's eat. So back eat. in the day, people used to eat with their hands, and traditionally, uh -huh. people still do. So we're going to try eating uh, with our hands instead of a spoon. Oh, smash it. It's something different, isn't it, darling? And we love a delve, don't we, Bab? Yes, we do. This is a uh, ma'bouch. They call it ma'bouch. Uh, it's uh, like... Um, Sweet with oh, uh, with whole peppers, okay. Uh, this one, uh, a sweet pickles, not salty. Mm -hmm. uh, this one. Uh, oh, it's grass. Got grass for you, uh, darling. Lemon. See, I told you it's Georgie, I think you know it. Watercress. Yes. Yes. This one is onion, this one lemon. I'm gonna try these pickles because I really like pickles, and I've never had carrot sweet pickles like this. Just looks Fabulous. She's got some pickles. I used to have a pickles. It was a Mr. Pickles. He was a pussy. He was a tabby Persian cross and he was fabulous. Ever so big. He weighed about 18 pounds. He was a chunky monkey. Although I wouldn't recommend chewing on him food. You'd cough up a fur ball, wouldn't you, darling? And your chest is bad enough. It's like rough, chopped up, homemade pickled carrot. Fabulous. Go ahead. Bismillah. Does she like it? Is it lovely? Oh my God. This is like a food challenge, isn't it, darling? You know, they do these... Oh, I've never had it before. Taste it and see what if you like it. The only thing is, darling, if you don't like it, don't spit it out, will you? Because that would be rude. Just smile and swallow. I'm sure you know how to do that. For the first time... 
How do you say delicious in Arabic? Ladin. Uh, oh, lovely. <laughs> you know, darling, this is getting educational. Education and linguistics. God, Chantal, next thing you know, you'll be getting an ology. I just want to comment on the room. It's so private. Fabulous. The room is so private. No more hiding in cupboards, darling. The waiters knock at the door. Do they? To come in and bring you your things. And there's a window and everything. It's like your own little cabin. Fabulous. With a booth and everything. Very They're nice. really clever, aren't they, darling? Modest eating. That means, you know, Min, that you can eat as many calories as you like and no one will see you. Do you know what I mean? It's the ultimate voluptuous, plumptious, fat-friendly. I love it. I might go to Q8. This is a tabura. And uh, More in crabs, Barao, look, this darling. one is the fried bread. Okay? And this is the content of the tabula, you know, tomato and... Uh, oh, it sounds know. nice. Yes, there's little it? bits of, I think, bulgur wheat and chopped parsley. Fabulous. And here we go. Ooh. This one called... Look at the size of that bat, okay. darling. And That's this a big like a weekend, uh, of bread. Okay. Yeah. They put inside it the soup, other oh. soup. Oh. Wow, the food has arrived. And when you oh, look at look this at delicious that. spread, the white bowl is leban, a drink. Uh -huh. And the red is called dakus. I'll show Fabulous. you what it is for later. And of course, my lentil soup. Fabulous. Here we darling. have majboos with meat. I think it's lamb leg, a leg of lamb. Are you sure about that, sweetheart? Because I can feel our min twitching here a little bit. Is it definitely? It's, it's lamb, darling. It's sheep. It's, you don't worry about it. No moo moos here. Well, there's you, but in there, in the laptop, there's no moo moos. She's not eating your family or anything like that, I hope. With some of the rice, savory rice. Ooh, and here chicken. we have the chicken Don't worry in chicken. With also the savory rice. Oh, that sounds nice. And we had a friend with us. And this oh, was their you? meal, some kind of yummy looking grilled chicken and fries. Fabulous. And that bread and the tabbouleh. Mm. I'm so hungry. And the watercress. And I just want to eat. Go on, then, this is chick. the dakus. It's a sauce that goes with the majboos. Uh -huh. You're meant to put it on the rice to eat with it. All yeah, right, we'll get on with it then, nice kids. Oh, it looks lovely. Bon appetit. It's a bit of Yummy. a feast, isn't it, darling? Let me try eating with my hands. Mm. Yeah, there's a what do you think? Mm? I want to eat with my hands. Okay. Are you sure, Sala? She's not very good with cutlery, never mind her fingers. <laughs> Okay, okay, let her do it. Let her roll it into a ball and shovel it in. But it'll be on your head, Sala, not mine. Will it be on her chest as well? But you know. Go on, food. Roll it in a ball. <laughs> she needs a spice. Yeah, sorry. Oh, perfect. Fall out. <laughs> Never mind, Bab. See? He doesn't want to go and pick it off because he's modest. Mushkila means no problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, does it mean no problem? Oh, I thought he meant um, better get you a bib next time, Bab. Oh, look at the mess, you slabber I'm going to switch to a spoon because, just because I we're would. out in public and it's messier. For you need to practice at home. It, It'll give you something to do while he's at work. Watch, something so personal about eating with your hands. There is. <laughs> It's almost primeval, isn't it, darling? It's a little bit animalistic. Isn't it, Min? You know all about that. What would have been in prison? I didn't eat all day because I knew we would be having a feast right now. And you are so having a feast, darling. It looks broke. delish. <laughs> <laughs> that soup looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, I could dive in that. I've got to admit, you know, I've got to admit, I'm really enjoying watching her enjoying herself. This is one of the very few times I've ever seen her eat a meal and she's enjoying it, not just because she's shoving it in and she's having a binge and she's listened to the call of her addiction. No, she's there enjoying herself. She's having a good time. And that's a nice thing to see. I, I, I love it. I really do. 
She's at, she's there having a nice meal. And it's healthy food. It's a lot healthier than what she's used to. And she's enjoying the company. And it's it's nice to see a smile on a mush. She's got rice on her chest, like, but she's got a nice smile on her mush. Oh, look at that, Sala. That's a big one. Is that off a design, uh, dinosaur? You're going to have a King Henry VIII moment. You can have a little nibble and chuck it over your shoulder. Go on. That'd be dead macho. Like, I'm cheating on my diet, but at the same time, like, it's super healthy food. Well, exactly. <laughs> it's like both worlds. <laughs> it's good for you. Get it down your neck, kid. Go on. Delicious. Wow. It looks lovely. You can tell it's delicious because we're so quiet while we're eating. <laughs> we're just eating and eating. I've got to admit that's the only time my cake holds shut. We can't talk with this delicious food. Yeah. No. Like normally when I used to do eating videos, I would do a lot of story times and talking. But it was always eating like junk food, so... Well, you weren't enjoying yourself, was you? You were having a rage or you were, you know, coming up with some bullshit. You were feeding your addiction. You actually sat there eating a nice dinner with company. That's how food is supposed to be enjoyed. This is how families are supposed to be. They're supposed to sit down. And this is how I was brought up to sit down and have a dinner and talk to each other. That's how you remain connected. It's fabulous. Oh. But this is just too good to eat and talk to. Are you tired, yeah. out, Sarah? You filled up. <laughs> yes. There's so much delicious, healthier food out there. Look at her looking at him adoringly. Oh. He likes his dindins, doesn't he? I like a man who can eat. <laughs> it's so good, it made you dizzy. Mmm. So yummy. Do you guys know what this is? <laughs> I don't, darling. I really don't. And do you know what? I'm a little bit scared to guess. What do you think it is? Mmm. I know they're round. But no, I, I don't think it can be them, sweetheart. They're the wrong colour. Surely. I mean, I don't know. I've not really inspected them before, Min. My God, you've had such a colourful life. My favourite. What's the Arabic word for? Uh, Lokma. Lokma? Uh. Oh, Lokma. <laughs> oh. Uh, another way, we call it uh, Awama. Awama. Oh, you guys know how much I love these. These are itty bitty tiny and they're, they're drenched in a syrup. It's fried dough. Oh, it's like a donut. Every it's culture a donut. Has their it's own not version there, of donut, dirty like Mary. fried dough or something. Oh, man, you're bringing that. <laughs> but this, whole let's try it. I'll tell Bernard. Is that delish? What do you think? Yum, yum in my tongue, I can't darling. Think it's too good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know when my brain fog clears from the delicious flavor. <laughs> Crunchy and sweet, light, delicious. Fabulous. Go on, get it down your neck, kid. Are like this big and they're okay. drenched in all kinds of syrup. Super unhealthy. Very simple, delicious dessert. Lovely. Oh, it's coffee time. One sugar or two. Oh no. He's got a good aim, hasn't he, that young man, darling? Yeah, I bet he'd be brilliant at Hooker Duck at the fun fair. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, big ears. Arabic coffee. Smashing. Mm. Oh, it's a different colour from ours, isn't it, darling? So, as I've said, the Arabic coffee has a cardamom flavor to it. They infuse it with cardamom. So, it's kind of a bit spicy. It's so good. Oh, it's it. make you uh, warm and uh, relaxing. So delicious. Do you know, it's a good job you've got something to do that. What with you not having any paracetamol and aspirins there, darling. Warm and fuzzy inside. Is that how it makes you feel? I know something else that does that. Ferrero Rocher's. Reminds me of like a chai flavor almost, but so good. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Ah, oh, look at the little miniature. So cool. Look at these little tea glasses. Cute. This is like a traditional tea tea set. 
It is, it's yes. not, it's it not dolly. Thai tea. I've got a puppet. We call it shy. Shy. Not shy. Shy? Not like shy, embarrassing. <laughs> Min shy. <laughs> shy tea, okay? Yes. Oh, shy means yeah, here the sugar. Okay. Oh, he's showing us how to do it, look. How to put sugar in a teacup. I was a bit unsure then. And then, remove it by the spoon. A oh. small one. Cute. Only a small <laughs> one. I usually like a bigger spoon than that. Enjoy Shukran. it. Shukran. Have one. Alright guys, I think we're going to end the video here. Oh, right, I hope yeah, you enjoyed having dinner with us for the first time. Oh, he's, he's got a full tum-tum. <laughs> yeah. So delicious. Thank you so much for your support. You're welcome. And for subscribing and liking this video if you did enjoy. And we'll see you in the next one. Masa okay. Lama. See you guys. Masa Bye. Yala darling. Yala to you both. So what did you think of that then, me? What did you think of that? Did you enjoy that? I mean, I know you liked the green stuff and the carrots and stuff. I mean, you're not really a meat eater, are you, darling? Although, I don't know. You learnt a few things in prison. You might be, you know, well, she might be quite willing to try the other side. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I love watching people eat. Is that me? Is that a bit weird? Is that a bit weird, do you think, me? Not with some of your friends, I suppose. No, I'm quite normal. I'm probably the most normalest friend you've got, aren't I? You're not my most normal friend. You're the most normal of all the voices I have in my head, although I'll give you that. Anyway, take care. I'm editing like mad. I really, really am. Be good. Take care of yourself. Remember, until I see you next time, I love you all loads and loads. I really, really, really do. And Min does, don't you, darling? Tell him. Wave to him. Be good. Take care of yourselves. And if you can't be good, get yourself a little tea set. See you later. Bye.